the Wall Street Community School Corporation put together a committee to apply for the Lilly Endowment Counseling Grant about four years ago. They wanted to address some challenges such as academic emotional readiness. And here is what they're doing at North Webster Elementary School. We have several programs that we incorporate into our, uh, into our curriculum with North Webster students. Uh, class is one. Class is an acronym that stands for Connected Learning Assure Successful Students. Another is PBIS, and that's an acronym that stands for Positive Behavior Intervention and Supports. Uh, we also use a trauma-informed schools approach, and all of these um, initiatives incorporate and embed social-emotional learning and character development in our work with North Webster students. Class focuses on collaboration and brain research and character development through lifelines. Lifelines are character traits that um, we focus on each month, and they're things like self-control, friendship, gratitude, those kinds of things uh, we, we emphasize with students and really talk about and, and uh, help, help teach with that. My favorite class memory is from last year, actually. We did a kindness challenge throughout the whole school, and students would write um, kind messages or encouraging messages to other students and their teachers, and so the whole school was kind of covered in post-it notes with post-it notes on lockers and doors, and it was just really great to see students uh, encouraging each other and building each other up. The staff works together with the students to help them solve problems. They also look at students through a trauma lens and they focus on the students' care and relationships. Our staff is really great. Uh, they do a great job at working collaboratively uh, to take care of our students and to solve problems. Um, our, our staff really cares about our students. They go above and beyond and do, go to the extra mile uh, to work with our students. Being a trauma-sensitive school means that um, we look at all of our students through um, a trauma lens. We know that a lot of students face um, adversity and challenges before even coming to school. And with that trauma approach, we know that we need to focus on care, focus on relationships, and work together to problem solve what challenges may arise. And we know that this approach is good for everyone and all students, and it really helps them learn and grow. So a large part of being a trauma-sensitive school is focusing on the day-to-day -day interactions and building positive relationships with our students. Uh, it's working together collaboratively and trying to understand how we can help fill the students' needs. And social-emotional learning is embedded in all of that. Um, it's a large part of everything we do and how we treat each other and how we work together in the classroom and beyond. The best part about social emotional learning is just seeing the students grow and learn those life skills. So they may put into practice a lifeline like friendship or growing in self-control and that's really just the best part is seeing those students grow and mature and use those lifelines that they'll carry with them throughout their life. The students have been greatly affected by the staff and helping them in social and emotional health and making sure they are prepared to advance as they go through school.